Hi everyone, welcome back. I have an unboxing here today to show you. I have already looked at this actually. So what I wanted to do is give you an honest review and I'm going to compare it to a couple of other planets that are similar. So this is a Moterm as you can see. And I don't know if you can tell from the shape of the box but it is a week's sized cover. So it comes in a very nice box. This is very sturdy. Um, black box with the nice gold foiling on the top and then within the box we have um, a really soft, a very nice soft um, pouch and the cover that I've purchased is such a pretty colour, it's just gorgeous. I've got this Lilac Weeks cover uh, and it's the zip around version. I was really keen to get a zip around Weeks cover for a health planner and my friend was placing an order and so she got the taupe one and um, I got the lilac one and you can see here it's a very pretty pebbled leather hopefully you can see that on camera the color is divine like it's just a beautiful you know me and I love my pink lilacs it's just a lovely color if I was to compare it to my weeks sorry to my tweed this is my tweed cover um, you can see the color differences there and I also have the lilac leather um, A6 cover from Hobonichi so you can see it's a much brighter lilac than, than the darker one from Hobonichi so hopefully that gives you a nice color comparison so um, it has the leather ring pull here and it has as you can see gold hardware they've really matched the zipper to the planet just perfectly and the stitching is divine. Like it is really well made uh, on the outside at least. Um, it does does come together very nicely. It's just a nice um, nice size kind of larger wallet. If you wanted a larger wallet with a book, uh, it does work very well for that. Let's have a look inside. The zip is nice. It works very well. And when you open it up, we've got the continuation of that beautiful color of leather on the inside. We've got a pretty large pen loop here. Let's see actually if my Klenner pen, I'm not sure if it will fit, I haven't tried it. Yes, it does. The Klenner pen fits very nicely. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six card slots here. As you can see, they're vertical card slots. So we're not gonna fit a credit card this way, but you'll definitely fit them that way, which is actually pretty normal. We have a little secretarial here, a tiny one. We have a pocket here, and we have a big pocket here where your book will go, your Hobonichi Weeks will go, or whatever you know dupe that you're using if you're using one. On this side, we have another cover, another pocket here, and I will check. I will show you the Weeks in it in a minute, and we'll see whether it um, sits inside there or not. We have a pocket here too, underneath the card slots. And we've got the little Moterm label here as well. So on the whole, it looks very, very pretty. It does also come with the big back pocket. And here is where I, it starts to fall apart for me. So that big back pocket, um, I hope you can see, it. it's it's like this fabric here. For me, is too short because it now won't lie flat. It's just going to move from side to side. Now, that doesn't bother a lot of people. Um, but I don't know for me I just want it to be able to lay flat so let's chuck a Weeks in there and see what happens I have my new um, Wasoy Weeks that just arrived so if I was to pop this in here I haven't actually tried this yet so this is new so it looks gorgeous like that it looks so pretty and you can close it up it's um, uh, there's there's room there, not a ton of room I would say, but there's definitely room to add your cards and all sorts of things in there. And yeah, it looks gorgeous, but it's just not going to stay open, right? And maybe that doesn't matter to you because, you know, you could d definitely be writing in it like this, right? You could just be writing here and writing here and that's no real drama. Uh, if you wanted it to lay flat though, this is not the planner for you. Let's also try popping both uh, covers in. I'll just leave my little pocket to the side there. I'll put the front and back in and see if that, um, see how that works, like what that looks like. Actually, I'm not sure if I can. It's so tricky to hold them, to hold them back. 
you know what, I can't make it happen um, without, I don't want to damage my weeks, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, and also, I don't know about you, but I kind of, in the weeks, prefer to have the cover showing. I just think it's super cute, for starters, but also, um, you know, this pocket here could be very useful for cash or for um, notes or receipts or whatever. So I'd probably, I mean, I, that's how I'm going to use it in the actual cover that I've decided to use. So, while I think it's gorgeous, super pretty, and really well made in terms of stitching and the fabric, uh, the leather I should say, and all the components, uh, I think it's a lovely cover and make, it will make someone very, very happy. But that someone is not me. I won't be keeping this. I am going to sell it. If you're interested, uh, please let me know. Probably best in Aussie, in Australia because of shipping, you know, whatevers. But um, I won't be keeping this. So let me show you what other options I also had for my Hobonichi Weeks for this year. A while back I bought this uh, Moterm cover. So this is the pink Croco Weeks cover and let's compare them side by side. So it's a little bit shorter, sorry, it's a little bit shorter than the other one uh, and it's also a little bit narrower. So all around this one is a bit bigger but I think it has to be for the zip to work properly. So this uh, I was absolutely in love with. Now some people do some acetone thing to their weeks, to their crocos, but I haven't done that. So um, I haven't done that. So this is the color that it is and it is showing up pretty true to color on camera. Uh, it's stunning. I really do love, do love the concept of this one. Just beautiful. They're both just gorgeous. This one has two um, clasps, so you can have it looser or tighter depending on how chunky you make your wallet because really this is really greatly used as a wallet but also just as a planner cover. On the inside, it's kind of very similar to uh, the other week's uh, cover. Um, however, this one does have a pocket on the outside side and on the inside. So it has the back pocket here, it has another pocket here, it has this one on this side as well, which is a bit uh, narrower. Uh, and then it has a place for your book to go in the back and another pocket here. And then we have a little secretarial spot and a pen loop that's about the same size as the other one. This one does have two black bookmarks and they have the little croco leather ends as well. This one also has the back pocket. Oh, I've got something in here. Parking receipts most likely. <laughs> Okay, uh, I did use this a few times, um, maybe for about, I don't know, two weeks or so. And I'll, I'll talk to you about why I stopped using it in a minute. So uh, I'll just make sure there's nothing else in here. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there isn't. Um, like I said, it's gorgeous. The inside lining is a dark brown, like a chocolate brown. And that, that's carried through, uh, carried out, carried throughout the planner, including inside the back pocket. Really nice deep packed pocket. It's just a great uh, everyday planner for planner cover for a week. So it's really, really good. So let's pop it in and see how it looks. So it slots in there very nicely. The color actually works really well in here as well, which is strange considering how cool this one is and how warm this one is. But yeah, it fits in there very nicely. Uh, if we do it up on the tightest clasp, there's still a fair bit of room to move and you can put things in that back pocket. You can put your credit cards in and in fact, I had this full of credit cards and it was totally fine. Like I said, I used it for a couple of weeks and it worked really well. Well, I just, I don't know, I just didn't like the, over time, I kind of just fell out of love with the um, texture. It's a smooth croco leather. It's, it's exactly what it says it is. But it just wasn't for me. You know, you can try something and it just doesn't work out to be for you. Uh, this is much more my style, the pebbled leather. Um, I just really thought this was going to be perfect, but it's just not quite right for me. A bit stiff and, I don't know, it just didn't do it. So, what I ended up with... Two things. I ended up with uh, this week's cover which I bought from Sakura Handcraft on Etsy. I'll just move this out of the way for a moment. 
Um, and I use this uh, Hobonichi rivet band to hold that closed. And this is my everyday planner. It's the Peach Weeks. Um, I've decorated slightly in here. There's videos doing all of this. And it's just a very plain leather uh, on the inside. Not leather, it's PU of course. And this just speaks to me more. I like the softness, the fabric. You know, I'm just, I guess that's just not how I want my weeks to be, if you know what I mean. So why do I have another week's? So this is my everyday planner, like I said. I use this every single day. Lots of things recorded in there. Very, very helpful. What I have purchased, and if you've seen my previous video, then you know about this already. What I have purchased is the Manamo cover from Hobonichi itself. So what I thought I'd do for you today is just give you a rundown. I mean, I have done a little already, but just give you a little comparison of the four covers. So you understand the pros and cons of each, I guess, uh, because there are definitely pros and cons to all of them. So what I might do is just take my weeks out of here so we can really see them clearly. Okay, so here are the four covers. I can't quite fit them all, all the way in the frame. And you can see they're all very, very different. I have two zip around covers. I have one with a clasp and one that's completely open and doesn't have a clasp at all. Uh, the price points, I think that's something we really have to consider. The Moterms sit around the um, 60 to $70 dollars mark, Aussie dollars. I'll talk in Aussie dollars because that's all I know. Um, <laughs> so that's how I bought them, right? So these are between 60 and $70, I think, or maybe between 50 if I put them in price order. We're looking at about 60 for this one, 70 for this one. Um, and those are from Moterm and they are leather. This one is handcrafted out of a beautiful tweed fabric. And um, if we just have a look at it in a bit more detail, the interior is stunning. It's just simple and very pretty. And it has these gorgeous bobbled toggles in the beautiful colors and with the little um, pulls the same. Their little toggles here are the same as well. Same leather as this interior. Again, I think this is PU and I think it's leather. It's quite thin, it's a very light cover, and it's very different to the others, right? It doesn't have the huge number of card slots. Um, so these definitely have advantages. They've got tons of storage in them. They're full of pockets, lots of pockets, and the back pocket as well. You know, tons of space for you to put things in. Super practical. This is very impractical. This fabric is likely to get damaged much more easily than these. These can be, you, you can use a leather protector on these and really make, and the cleaners, and very simple to keep clean and sanitized and all that sort of stuff. This is much less so, um, but it's handcrafted. It just has a bit more of that Hobonichi feel, that Japanese feel that I wanted. You know, aesthetically, this one does it for me. That's, that's all I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with these planners, except I don't like the back pocket in this one, causing it to not lay flat. But um, this just made me happy when I saw it, and I had I just had to have it. And then when I was looking at getting um, something to take as a health planner, which I wanted to be a zip around, that's when I looked at these two at these two covers, and uh, let's compare them side by side. So um, the the Hobonichi one is definitely uh, thicker. If we put them on the side, you can see it's much thicker. It is actually shorter than, let me just do this. It's shorter than the um, Moterm one and it's like narrower as well. So it's a bit smaller profile except in the how deep it is this way. So, um, I don't know, they feel, they both feel like very good quality, but very, very different, right? Pebbled leather versus this soft fabric. Uh, and then when we open them up, let's have a look at the insides. Um, they're probably quite similar, except, oh, let me show you how it's packaged as well. So you saw how I unpacked this, it was in the nice soft pouch. This one came in the um, Hobonichi Weeks box that, that the Hobonichi stuff always comes in. And it has all of this foam protecting 
uh, each component. I left it in just to show you for this video actually. So I'll take these little books out as well just so you can see the full interior. So in this one we have like the wallet section on the left and the card slots on the right. And in this one we have the card slots on the left and no zipper on this side, it's just got pockets, which is okay as well, right? I'm not going to put coins in this, there's no chance. So the zipper is not necessary for me. Probably only if there's pri things I'd like to keep private, I'd probably put them in a zipper. That's probably all. This lays perfectly flat, no drama, perfection. I'm in love with this. I'm b very biased. I just love it so much. This one does not. It just kind of sits up like this, you know. It's it's a very strange little planner. Um, yeah, it just sits, sits not quite right because this, I think the interior just needed to be designed a little bit better. Uh, a little bit wider perhaps. Um, not quite sure. That's up to the designers to figure out. But as I said, a lot of people don't care about it laying flat. And this has a lot of other features that make it really lovely in terms of the colour and the feel of the leather. It's really a beautiful planner. I just need it to lay flat. And you know what? I'm obsessed with Hobonichi. But let's have a chat about the price here as well. This guy, like I said, was around $70. This one, $189. So... Um, 194 I think with shipping this one was free shipping 194 versus 70 so very very different pricing right you are paying for this luxury item well in my opinion luxury I'm I'm not a luxury girl in terms of those high-end brands but um, this is my level of luxury that I'm willing to pay for so yeah very very different um, designs similar in ways but um, different in terms of the the um, some of the features so for me laying flat was important and I don't know the the feel of this planner just I had no idea when I got it what it was going to feel like it was a bit of a punt as well but um, I, I loved the fabric of the cover and I just thought it was going to fit very nicely it matches my little wigs beautifully but actually, the Wix looks lovely in this one as well. It looks really nice in all of them, actually. So let's let's do that, shall we? Uh, we'll go from cheapest to most expensive. The Croco looks lovely in here. Just beautiful. Um, and the only reason I would probably sell this is because... I don't really want to keep I've got so many ring planners you know me <laughs> so many of them I don't want to start another collection of of planner covers that I probably won't use so if I feel like I'm not going to use this and I really feel like I'm not going to use this then I'm not going to keep it I'm going to sell it so this guy will be going but it's a little regretful because I do think it's lovely and then in, in this one, I've, obviously I've got my peach one that goes in here, but I just wanted to show you how nicely that colour goes inside of here with this taupe kind of background as well. So a taupe planner would look lovely with this too. That's the Sakura Handcraft design on Etsy. Uh, it's a Hong Kong shop, a very good customer service, very, very uh, high quality design, really, really nicely presented. And then this one just looks gorgeous. It really brings out um, the cooler tones of that cover. I just think that's really lovely as well. I do love it. I absolutely adore the colour. I've got a number of planners in this colour and you know that this pink lilac is my favourite colour of all time. So it is with regret that I don't hang on to this. But again, if I'm not in love with it, I'm going to be getting rid of it this, this year. Not my old stuff. The old stuff's just going to stay, <laughs> probably. But um, as it comes in, if it doesn't serve me, it's going to go out. And then this is where I've ended up. I think this, I don't know, I'm obsessed with Herbonichi at the moment, as you know from my channel. And that's part of the attraction here. But I just do think it just suits what I need it for perfectly. I just, I did have to pay a premium for this because it's Herbonichi brand. Um, and they are always limited supply, you know, for some of the designs. So it is what it is, but I'm very, very happy that I did. I really love it, and I think it's going to be um, really good for the purpose that I have decided to use it for. So having said that, um, 
let's come back to the reason for this video, which is this Lilac Moterm Weeks cover. Like I said, it's beautiful. It's um, very well made in terms of the stitching and um, you know putting it together. The back pocket annoys me, but that's how it is, <laughs> and they're all the same. Uh, and yeah, it just it does look gorgeous, and I think it'll make a really lovely wallet and weeks cover for someone who really wants this particular color. Um, yeah, so that's my little comparison of let's grab them all again of the weeks covers. Yeah, so there's my comparison of these four weeks covers. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have um, any of these um, covers, let me know, or you know, similar versions, let me know your thoughts on them. If you have this one and that back pocket doesn't bother you, tell me as well. I'm super keen to hear from you because I think every cover is made for a reason and there are people for every cover and there are covers for every person so um, yeah if if this is your favorite planner then please let me know uh, I, I'm super keen to hear from you I, I just love all of them they're all gorgeous I can only come down to the fact that it's just preference for me this this one it's Hobonichi branded and it's soft and it fits the things in it properly yeah. and and um, this one as well, I've obviously kept for my everyday everyday planner too. So um, those are the two I've ended up with. The two Moterms are going to go on to another home or other homes. Um, if that's your home, let me know. I'm happy to talk to you about selling it. Um, but uh, yeah, look, I'm glad I bought them. And I'm glad I got to try them out. I haven't used this at all. I've just put it straight back in the box as soon as I opened it because I knew I was... I already knew this one was on the cards, so <laughs> it was probably silly to buy it in the first place. But look, I'm glad I did because I got to try it out. I got to ha have a look at it and I've got to compare it for you guys. So if you are also in the same boat as me trying to figure out what cover to use this year, then um, I think all four of these are great options. I think um, if you want something that has a closure, this is no good for you unless you're happy to use the rubber, the rubber band kind of concept like I am. And I'm totally fine with this. It is my everyday and I'm using this <coughs> absolutely every day. So it, it really doesn't bother me. Would I have preferred one with a closure? Yes, I would have. But um, there are other reasons why I like this so much. So I'm happy with it as it is. If you did want to zip around but you're on a budget, this is perfect. This is a really lovely cover. Lots of different colours and it really works um, for what it's made for. If you like the more um, traditional planner kind of cover, then this one is also great. I actually, like I said, did use this for a few weeks and I really liked it except it just the texture over time just got, I don't know, I just didn't like it. I just find that I really do prefer the softer covers, um, a, a little, you know, the softer textures. If you come back from my lineup video, which will be coming out in February, I think, you'll you'll see that my all the covers that I've chosen, pretty much every cover this year, it has a softness to them. So that's why I've ended up with this one. But like I said, I, I had to pay a premium. If you're comparing these two, very similar, um, but they just have. Um, those price point features that you're going to get by just paying a little bit extra. Well, in this case, quite a bit extra. It's almost three times the price, right? Not quite, but we're getting up there at two and a half times the price to get to this one. So um, I, I know that not everyone can afford this, and I probably shouldn't have, but I did, and that's where we're at. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, I think I should stop going on about this. I hope you enjoyed this comparison of these four gorgeous planners they are all absolutely beautiful and yeah I would be keen to hear your thoughts on them if you have them individually or or if you're looking at any of them let's have a chat about it in the comments all right guys thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this one a bit different to usual I guess um, but I hope it was helpful and yeah if it was please let me know I'd love to hear from you all right, thanks so much for watching. I'd love it if you would subscribe and I'll see you all again in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.